Hello guys and welcome to today's vlog. Starting off the vlog in my bed. I wanted to do a little pregnancy update slash kind of just like life update. Honestly, I feel so stressed out. That's the life update. But I'm officially eight months pregnant. I am 33 weeks today. So I think baby's the size of like a cauliflower or something. I still need to read about it on my app. But I'm just enjoying some peace and quiet right now. COVID's napping and Parker took my car to go get something for it to get registered. Just me and Luma over here but yeah i wanted to give a little pregnancy update so i think i'll actually set the camera up so that i can do that so yes 33 weeks i feel like this pregnancy has gone by so 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 fast and cove came at 38 weeks so i'm not like planning on this baby coming at 38 weeks but i also kind of am which i shouldn't be because she just might not come that early but i only have seven weeks left which if she came at 38 weeks i would only have like five weeks left so i feel like i'm running out of time and i'm really just trying to enjoy like this phase of life that we're in before we have two kids i am actually really really excited to have a newborn i just loved that phase with cove so i'm really hoping that this baby cove was like a really easy baby so i'm hoping that this baby is too we will see i think it will be fun to kind of just like slow down for a little bit we've been really 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 busy with things so i can kind of also give a little mini life update right now too but as for my pregnancy as i've probably said in other videos and you guys know this time has been way harder i just like physically feel way more uncomfortable so i'm trying to enjoy it because i don't plan on being pregnant again for like a couple of years it's also just a lot easier to like take care of the baby when they're still in your belly and <laughs> two-year-olds are also like just really crazy so i'm trying to just enjoy like this last little phase of us being a family of three it's gonna be over so soon which is so crazy honestly i don't really have like a lot of pregnancy symptoms right now besides just like physically feeling really uncomfortable i have actually been sleeping so bad i was sleeping really well up until like a week or two ago and now i feel like all night long i'm just like awake and i have to get up to pee in the night at least like two or three times i think i mentioned this in a video i'm sure i did but i think i have what's called spd which basically is just like your pelvis is kind of messed up you can like look it up if you want to actually like see a real definition about it or whatever but it just like is so uncomfortable and like hurts and i don't know just the little like littlest things these days are so hard like walking up the stairs or doing anything so yeah 33 weeks not feeling super awesome i know it's over so fast and i don't know i'm just like trying to enjoy it the last of it so that's my little pregnancy update there's honestly like not like that much like i said because i don't have that many symptoms i got everything kind of prepared as you guys saw in i think that was our last video i like went through and organized all of her stuff so all i really need now are like diapers and that's pretty much it so feeling good about that i still need to pack my hospital bag i'm gonna do a what's in my hospital bag on my main channel again so i'll tell you guys when i do that i won't do it for like a few weeks oh. I'm filming. It failed. It failed? Emissions. It failed the emissions test. What does that mean? It means we can't register. We have to take it in the shop and have them fix it. Cool. Oh, you're still oh, you're filming? Yeah. Yeah, I went to the... Uh, More bad news. I like, went to register Aspen's car, do the emissions test, and it failed the emissions test. Cool. More stress. My other source of stress has been work and just trying to like figure out how i'm going to work as much as i have been working and also have a newborn it's so different to have like an older like a toddler now because cope doesn't need me like parker can totally take care of her and just like over the course of like having cove and just kind of figuring out like our new system over the past couple years and whatever i usually do more of our work stuff because it just like makes more sense for me to do it and then parker doesn't like has a more stay-at-home dad role he still does work stuff but it just like kind of works that way. So we usually have a to-do list and his has like a couple work things and lots of like house stuff and taking care of co. And mine has like mostly work stuff and then like a couple house things or whatever. Now I forgot what I was even saying somehow. Pregnancy brain also. I have also had that symptom. <laughs> I literally just like forget like everything and basically i've just been like so stressed out we've been super busy with like lots of campaigns and different things this video is actually sponsored by open farm which i'm super excited about it's a new dog food we've been trying out for luma and she has been loving it so i'll show you guys when we feed her dinner we've had her i'll just like explain all of that when we 
feed her dinner so you guys can see how like cute she is she literally like lets us know every morning and every night like it is time for my food come feed me and it's super cute so i'm excited that they are sponsoring this video because she loves their food anyways we have been training some new people at luca and grace so that's been taking up like a ton of my time just i literally have like my highest screen time right now ever for the past little bit because i'm constantly on my phone trying to just like keep up with everything that we're doing and i'm really trying to get the system figured out before we have the new baby because i'm not planning on i don't know what exactly our plan is when we have the new baby i'm not planning on taking on we have like a couple sponsorships that we're gonna do i'm not gonna take on like tons of new ones and i don't know how often we'll vlog but i really liked having those videos to look back on when cove was like a brand new baby so i'm sure we will vlog but obviously things will like slow down and we'll kind of just like take things day to day and like post whenever it like works for us or whatever so that's like the plan for when we actually have the baby but in terms of luca and gray stuff that's harder because there's like so many other people depending on me for stuff whereas like when it's our own stuff and like our own youtube videos i can like go off my own schedule yeah basically it's just been really stressful trying to like make sure that we have all this stuff figured out before i have the baby and trying out like different photographers to shoot with because most of the time for our studio photos i shoot those so i go up to the office I shoot the pictures, I edit the pictures, and I'm just not really gonna be able to do that as easily when I have like a brand new baby. So I'm just trying to like get all of that stuff streamlined and it has been taking up so much of my time and just been like really, really stressful. So that's what I've been doing all morning. This is actually the second week in a row that I skipped Cove's gymnastics class and just Parker took her because I just have had like too much work to get done where I literally couldn't like take that hour. <laughs> like I had like a call that we did earlier and it's just a lot of stuff. So that's like the work update. I've been trying to just like figure that out and trying to figure out like balance and stuff, but it's just such a weird time of life because things are gonna be changing so much so soon. It just feels kind of like everything is happening at once like the baby's coming so soon we have like new people starting just a lot of stuff so basically i've just been really stressed out and i'm really enjoying my little moment of peace right now while parker's been gone and cove is napping um so i'm pretty much done with like most of the stuff that i can get done right now i'm waiting on like some people for things so cove is going to a little birthday party this afternoon which will be fun so i'm excited to take her to that just get to like get out of the house i feel like i haven't really been going like a lot of places lately it's just been like so much work and not enough play yeah that is the update for now pregnancy update and life update okay actually during the peace and quiet i'm just gonna take the time to show you guys Lumi's food before Cope is awake, even though it's actually not dinner time. So I'll insert a clip of her eating her dinner. All right, she's waiting. She can smell it. This is what she's actually having right now. Homestead turkey gently cooked recipe. 100% human grade, humanely raised ingredients. Do you want it? I was gonna say sit, but you're already sitting. Stay, sit, stay. Okay, it's your favorite, huh, Pop? We have been trying out open farm this is their harvest chicken gently cooked recipe she loves this and she loves the turkey one so we usually feed her like a third of a pack for every meal for the base of her normal food for a really long time we just kept her on a kibble and it was the same kibble that my mom's dog was on because luma would like get puppy sat there a lot so it was just easy and a couple months ago we noticed that she was looking really skinny we took her to the vet for her like normal checkup and everything and even the vet was like yeah she's like kind of skinny right now i was like okay actually now that i think about it she like just really not eat very much like she just wasn't eating her kibble so open farm reached out at literally the perfect time for us to try something new so i'll put in a clip of their website and you guys can see all the different options they have they have a ton of like different protein sources um like chicken turkey all different options so we have these packs in the freezer and then we also keep this kibble around too just because sometimes with fresh food i get nervous like is she getting enough is she hungry i don't know because she scarfs the food down and i hate having her food bowl just like sit there empty so we like to keep kibble around i have a code actually and it is aspen for 15 percent off for new customers so i am gonna have that linked down below anyways that's been nice to have that stress taken off my plate because literally before we were trying this she was just like so skinny and not doing well with her food um so a couple other things about the brand you can see fresh chunks of meat and vegetables 
in this, you really can. This is also one of the only fresh dog foods for dogs that does not include fillers like rice and potatoes. They cook their recipes at low temperatures to preserve nutrients. None of the recipes have antibiotics or added growth hormones. They have something for every pet regardless of their taste or sensitivities. And they have over 50 recipes between like their kibble and their raw and everything. So again, you guys can use my code Aspen for 15% off. Good morning, baby Coco. Can you say hi, mama? Okay. No. <laughs> No, hi mama. Okay. All right, well, we're getting Cove ready for her little tea party that she's going to. She's on the cutest little outfit. I almost wanted her to wear this on her birthday. It has like a cute little cake on it, but she wore that daisy one. She has a nice little song picked out so that I can do her hair. Then I'm gonna curl mine really quick and change and then we'll be ready to go. Climb over your fence, hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were Shrugging your shoulders, some close stuff. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. All right, I'm ready. That was like literally two minute waves. I think I curled like two pieces of my hair. But I have on this cute set that I will link. And I'm gonna get Cove in the car. We're gonna go. On the dizzying heights. Okay, so it is the next day. Parker is at some like skateboarding competition thing and he went golfing this morning. So he's basically been gone all day. So it's just me and Coco hanging out. And I actually had a babysitter come over this morning. It was a girl that we were just like meeting for the first time. So I had her come and like babysit for an hour, but I was still here just to like make sure everything was good. Coco, my goodness. But she was super sweet and she lives close. So I'm excited for that because we don't really have like a go-to babysitter for just like Friday night date nights and stuff. And we definitely want to go on a few date nights before the baby comes so that was good and then coco took a nap i took a shower relaxed yes and now i ordered some crumble because i saw that they have this cookie i'm gonna give it to you this one i don't know what it's called but this is like a basically like a hostess cupcakes like cookie version this is peanut butter and jelly sandwich this is oreo which i think i've had this one and i think it's good but everyone like always is so excited when they bring it back mm. you ate the teddy grams and then this is a teddy gram one okay wait for mom okay i saw on the comments that some people's cookies didn't have filling this cookie has no filling that's the part i wanted yes you want to try yes there's supposed to be marshmallow filling in here and there's literally none what the heck Oh, well, I guess, huh? That's kind of a big piece for you. Anyway, so we are doing a taste test. So first one is this one. Doesn't have the mm -hmm. filling like it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You wanna try that one? Yes. But it's still good. I'm gonna let limit in. Oh my. What should we try next? What one? This one? Okay. Next, Coco wants to try the Teddy Graham one, which I think looks so good. Okay, let's not eat it with... Oh my. I usually scrape off like 80% of the frosting because I think they have too much. I know some people like a lot. Do you like that one? Cookie number two, Teddy Graham. Mmm, this is really good. My favorite caramel cookie is their waffle one. Actually, peanut butter bar might be my top favorite. They don't have that very often. They bring waffle back more. You done with that one? Uh, do you want it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Next up, we're gonna try peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Cove has already taken like a huge bite. Mmm. Okay, that one's actually pretty good. Do you wanna try? No. Should we try Oreo? No. Do you wanna try this one? Yes. What one is your favorite? Yes. That one is your favorite? You didn't even try that one. You already have a piece of chocolate, so you should finish that one, okay? I'm gonna eat one more piece of the Teddy Graham one. Oh no, don't get chocolate in your, oh no. Oh my, sis. What the, you are so cute. <laughs> what the heck is that face? Should we take a picture and show dad? What are you doing? You're so funny. 
Yeah. And that is all the footage that we got for today's vlog. Before we end it, I want to say thank you again to Open Farm for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys go to the link in the description and use the code ASPEN if you want to get 15% off your order. Luma loves their food, so thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Everybody does a lot of